So I wanted to give an updated review on Bovada Poker as well as go over some pretty ridiculous hands you're going to want to see. Now, personally, I've mentioned I play on five or six different sites currently, but I am a regular on the Bovada 6 Max Cash Games. Okay, so why should you play on Bovada? Well, first, they're reputable. They've been in business now for over a decade. Second, they always pay when you need to cash out, which is huge. You know, personally, I've never had issues cashing out on Bovada. Uh, they've also got great software for playing on your PC or phone. And of course, they've got some awesome bonus offerings. Now, as I'm getting into some of these hands, we'll have some great resources below in the description for first-time player bonuses. I would recommend you jump on immediately. Also, if you have any questions about Bovada as I'm getting into some of these poker hands, feel free to message me below and I will get back to you. Okay, so here we go. One to no limit. It's kind of like my bread and butter, but you know, I mix it up between two and five. And every once in a while I play some 510, but you know, the 510 games are pretty hard. Now, one of the great things about playing on Bovada is obviously the players are pretty weak at these mid-state games, and it's something I preach all the time because that's the reality of it. You got a lot of players, uh, you know, at these $200 games that are basically the same players that are playing at like the $50 games or even, you know, like the $100 cash games. Um, so, I mean, the level of competition on Bovada is very weak. And a reason for that is, you know, you get a lot of people who maybe just play the slots or go straight to the sport book. So then they'll throw some money into the poker room and not really care. And you do see that quite a bit here. So it is very loose players and you know, that's that's a great thing for any of us who take this, you know, seriously. Uh, also, you know, I, I play three or four times a week pretty religiously. Um, switched it up to Bovada uh, lately because they had some good bonuses I wanted to check out. So that's why you're seeing it. But obviously, Ignition on the channel as well. America's Card Room, Bet Online, all those uh, sites that, you know, I do play on. All right, check this hand out with the Jack King suited. All right, so we missed this flop pretty badly, but I put a continuation bet in, you know, trying to just take down the hand with a bluff. But, you know, uh, runner runner cards as well. We could also turn a king or get a heart or a 10. All right, six bucks, pretty standard here. <clears throat> now, the turn card was actually really good because it gave us a flush draw. And, you know, I didn't want to give up on this, so I stayed aggressive, which is something you should always do. And I knew I was probably behind here making this move. But if he has like a pair of fours or sixes or something not very strong, I figured he might fold as well. And that's exactly what happened here. We bumped up this turn bet a little bit. He got sheepish, and we took that one down. Now, you are going to want to stick around because we had a really nice, you know, double up in this session that, um, you know, I'm going to break it down. I'm breaking down all these hands, but there is a, a pretty big one. All right, here we go with pocket nines, putting in a raise late position here, pretty standard. Not a great flop for pocket nines, but I did the same thing here with putting a continuation bet in. And you are going to see that, <clears throat> you know, uh, just continuation betting a lot of the time can get people to fold their hand pretty easy especially if they don't have anything. And if they do have something, you know, you just back off a little bit, you know, if, uh, you know, like an ace hits like it did right here. If this guy would have called me, I probably would have just checked it on the turn because I figured I would have been behind. But check this out. Ridiculousness about to happen right here. Now he's going to fold. We're going to see the turn card. And dang, guys, we would have hit that nine. That would have been pretty spicy right there. All right, here we go with the king queen. Got to love it when it's suited spades. I'm also curious cuz this hand kind of bothered me a little bit. Do you think I made the right play on this or not? Uh <clears throat> because honestly, I did look at it and I was like <sighs> taking a look at a second time at a hand, playing it back, you're like, "Did I make the right play there?" All right, anyways, really nothing here, guys. Very ugly, sadly. Um, runner, runner cards again kind of situation. But, you know, whatever. Checked it. Ace on the turn. And I was okay checking this all the way down. What was interesting here was he put in a bet, and obviously, you know, uh, we're losing to an ace. We're losing to a pair. But I kind of regret this situation i should have probably called here but i folded it because i don't know but taking a look at it again i wish i would have called i feel like king high was probably good there 
oh well. Can't get it right every time, right? Okay, so here's the hand that uh, we're, we are going to analyze with the Pocket Kings. Now, I got tricky with this hand, uh, for sure. Very tricky. All right, so raise it up to six bucks. I was hoping for somebody to three bet this. All right, so when you flop this, especially in this spot with this kind of board, um, you know, I just went into total slow play mode, you know. Just I felt like that was the best case scenario and maybe one of these guys bet at it. Um, but, yeah, I, I did not want a continuation bet into this. Now, this guy bet $2, which was hilarious. I just called it <clears throat> because, like I said, I didn't want to kick this up. I didn't want to lose this other guy. And honestly, I, I could care less. If one of these guys has, like, a, a weird straight draw or flush draw, I don't care. It doesn't really bother me because the board pairs were good anyways. All right, so once again, we're in a spot where, you know, um, king on the or queen on the turn was a good card for us. Um, this guy continued betting. <clears throat> with his two dollars which was funny okay so i had to kick it up here we couldn't let this hand keep going with these little two dollar bets all right and this is exactly what we want to see and i figured you know i don't need to re-raise this guy if he wants to put in a big bet on the river i'm okay with that so <clears throat> basically all i did here was um, make the call. Okay, I'm sorry. I re-raised it. I thought I made the call there. All right, so the guy <clears throat> did... Um, I mean, the only hand we're losing to here is Jack-10. and I don't know if I could put him on Jack-10, guys. So I, <clears throat> I figured, you know... Board didn't pair, unfortunately, but I got to put a, you know, a value bet in here. So I bet about $80. And this guy is going to like think about it a little bit. Um, I guess he probably looked at it like, okay, he missed the flush. Uh, you know, the guy could have had two pair or something weird like that. Maybe a set. I didn't get to see the hand, unfortunately. But I think we got max value on that. And I was okay with how that one played out. It was, it was fine. I didn't want to shove all in right there. Uh, the only hand we were losing to was, you know, obviously pocket aces and jack 10. Pocket aces would have been sick if he had that, but uh, I put him on like two pair, maybe a low uh, set, I guess. And yeah, I just thought that hand was interesting. Okay, here we go with pocket fours. Putting in a little baby raise right here. It's a little baby. All right, this guy's going to make the call and another situation where we put in the continuation bet. Not a terrible flop for fours, right? Really all low cards. All right, and uh, kind of rolling through this session, you know, making some good plays. <clears throat> Now, here was another interesting hand. We had Queen Jack suited. Now, I just made this call, no three bet. Because we had people behind us, you know, ready to act. Didn't feel the need. Okay, <clears throat> great flop for us, right? We've got <clears throat> the up and down straight draw to go with, you know, um, runner, runner, flush possibilities. But really, we want to hit that eight or king without, you know, that diamond coming out. And honestly, I'm okay with seeing a free turn card here. It could go either way. I could bet this or just see a free turn card. Okay, guys, we hit that money card. I mean, we've got the nuts. We've also got the uh, flush draw to go with this as well. 
And um, at this this point, I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know, we need somebody to bet here. Please, God, bet. Okay, so I slow played it. You know, I was really hoping like a deuce of hearts or something would hit the river. Of course it didn't. And the only reason that I, you know, felt like, uh, I, you, you really hate to see that, right? You don't want to see that diamond hit or, you know, the five because now you're losing to some different hands. So I just made the call there. We still got paid off. Um, so I think I played that one perfectly. I think if I would have re-raised when he bet 10 bucks, I don't know if I would have got any action maybe. I mean, possibly, but, you know, I think uh, I think that we play that hand fine. All right, we're here with an 8-9. And like I said, guys, feel free to comment below about any of these hands. Uh, I think for the most part, played pretty decent in this session for sure. All right, raising it up here with 8-9 off. All right, not a bad flop. You know, we've got the uh, possibility here of hitting a 10 for the straight. We've got second pair to this board. We're beating a lot of different hands here, or at least out flopping them. All right, this guy is going to make the call, I believe. Turn card was, I want to say, like a five. Okay, yeah. All right, so not a bad card either because, you know, we hit the 6 or the 10. Uh, and really looking at this, I felt like I had, what, 8 outs? Could be good here. All right, 5 hitting the river. Not bad. So really what we're losing to here is an 8 with a higher kicker or a jack. Uh, but he had the 7-9, and, you know, we took it down. All right, anyways, just to wrap things up for everybody, you know, Bovada Poker it's it's a great place to play some uh, online poker for sure. You know, I play on my phone a lot these days as well as on a PC when I've got some time to kind of like sit down on a laptop or anything like that. Um, they've been around for a long time. The bonuses are good here. They've got some great tournaments as well. You could always hit up the sport betting if you want to bet on like, you know, a big match of basically anything. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next poker video.